An Omaha senator challenges rules made under the Let Them Grow Act passed last year. The regulations under LB 574 guide how minors can access gender-affirming care like puberty blockers. KETV News Watch 7's Jessica Perez spoke with Senator Michaela Cavanaugh about her decision. Jessica joins us live. In a letter addressed to State Senator Ray Aguilar, chair of the executive board of the Legislative Council, Kavanaugh calls these rules discriminatory and says they pose unreasonable burdens on minors seeking care. I'm not working with any of you. Senator Michaela Kavanaugh led weeks of filibuster in the 2023 legislative session as she and others fought against the Let Them Grow Act. If you vote for this, you will have buckets and buckets of blood on your hands. This bill is about protecting children. That is it. It's titled Let Them Grow. Senator Kathleen Kalf's bill ultimately passed, banning gender-affirming surgeries for those under 19 and granting the state's chief medical officer the ability to make rules about how minors access non-surgical gender-affirming care. It left supporters happy and those in opposition in tears. Now Kavanaugh is challenging the regulations created. The way that those rules and regulations have been implemented go far beyond the scope of what was legislated. Kavanaugh calls the rules discriminatory, saying they violate the Federal Civil Rights Act and the Nebraska Bill of Rights. She also believes they pose unreasonable burdens on teens seeking care, like requiring injections to be done at a doctor's office. Unless your doctor's office has a pharmacy and your insurance uses that pharmacy, then you can't do that. Last year, Kalth said the bill's only intention is protecting youth. They are not ready to make these decisions. They are most likely to change their minds about their gender identity multiple times because they're kids. She did not want to comment on the new challenge. Kavanaugh wants any rules deemed to be outside of the scope of the legislation to be removed. The executive board says it will refer the letter to Kalth and the chair of the Health and Human Services Committee. At this point, it's unclear what happens after that. You can see the full list of regulations approved by the governor and DHHS right now at KTV.com. Back to you. Thanks, Jessica.